Peter mentioned, Carolyn mentioned peace, and Peter mentioned release. Wow. A few weeks ago, I received an envelope in the mail, which told me, he said, congratulations. <laughs> you are the winner of one million dollars. <laughs> That's what the new millionaire is in I'm sure many of you have received the same envelopes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's $10 million, maybe it's $5,000 a week for life. Congratulations, you won it. I know one person who went out and actually started to spend it. But there's a fine print. It says, if you have the winning numbers, and if you return the card on time. You know the Bible's like that? The Bible says, congratulations, you've received all the blessings of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Psalm 29 says, the Lord will give strength to his people, and the Lord will bless his people with peace. Yes. With peace. Yes. Mm -hmm. John 3.16 says, you have received eternal life if you believe in God. You should have received eternal life. In Ephesians, this is a whole number of blessings. Predestined us for adoption. Accepted by God's grace. Redemption through his blood. Forgiveness through his grace. Obtained an inheritance of which the Holy Spirit is a down payment. And many people read this and wonder, I don't see anything. Where is it? I don't get anything. My prayers aren't answered. I don't feel any different. Mm. Because they don't look for the if. See, it says in Matthew, not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will get into heaven. Mm -hmm. But those who do the will of the Father. That's the if. What's the will of the Father? Well, it has to do with that little word that no one likes to hear called submission. Submission. We submit to God. Now, some people imply that to mean that we have God way up there, we're down here, we have to submit in terror, terror and fear. That's not what it means at all. You see, we do submit to God, but God has also submitted to us. He submitted to his parents when he was a child, as God as Jesus. And he submitted to us as Christ when he gave his life. It says in Ephesians 5 that we should submit one to another, which really means we should love each other. Because if you love someone, you actually submit to them. So we submit to each other, we love each other, which is what the Bible says, to love one another. It says that wives are to submit to their husbands, which means they're to love their husbands with respect. And husbands are to love their wives as Christ loved the church. It says that children are to obey their parents, which means they're to love their parents with respect. And their parents are to honor their children with love and respect. Employers are supposed to honor their employees with respect and with dignity and with fairness. And employees are supposed to give their employers an honest day work with fairness and equality. It's not really great difficulty to understand this. Now, if you had this million dollar envelope and you knew what the winning numbers were and you had them, it'd be kind of crazy not to submit the return card on time. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have the promises and we have the winning formula why don't we do it? Mm -hmm. 
Why don't we submit ourselves on time? Our time runs out when we die. We're supposed to be the most intelligent beings, species on Earth. But for all that, many of us, much of the time, act pretty dumb. Amen. <laughs> Say it, brother. So the point is, we have all the promises. Yes. We have the winning numbers. That's to the submission. And as Peter said, not take that stuff back. Yes. Because that's really what giving it up means, is submitting it to God. Yes. Not difficult. It's not rocket science. It's very common sense. And perhaps that's something we just should all think about. Mm.